Right guys, long time no see. However, I left my bloody iPad at my mother's house and my sister kindly sent it on to me, but it's taken like, I was away at a, a wedding for three or four days or three days, and then it took three or four days to get here, so I've not been out of any YouTube, any anything. So, I'm unboxing. So my name's Anthony Cummings. I'm the author of um, The Ultimate Unofficial Guide to Tolkien's World or The Art of War, if you want to help me out. But I've just received from Colin Hughes uh, two boxes like this with ninja books in them. So let's see what we've got. Now, I always check, one thing you should always do is check the postage when somebody sends you stuff, because in the old days, posting something was easy. It was just, you know, you posted it and it was cheap. Now it costs a fortune. So thank you very much to Colin for sending them. The thing, and it, Colin and I know how expensive these are. So please, you know, accept my greatest thanks. What have we got here? Oh, genius. Togakure Ryu Nimpo Taijutsu. Togakure Ryu Nimpo Taijutsu. Oh, there it is. Togakure Ryu Nimpo Taijutsu. So, oh yes. To be fair, I have seen this in Japan before. But this is why it annoys me when people go on about the Bujinkan. Saying ninja, Hatsumi never said ninja nitsu was a martial art. Never. It's a mistranslation. Well, there's Hatsumi doing ninja martial arts in the Togakure Ryu Nimpo Taijutsu, the ninja, the ninja way of fighting. Not body skills, you can't break down language like that. That is absolute proof for all those in the Bujikan that say Takamatsu never said there's any such thing as, um, you know, ninja fighting. He did, he said it in translation many times. It's many Stephen Hayes books, it's in all the books, and so it's a translation error. Well, there it is in Japanese ninja fighting. Just look, that's the name of the school. That's the ninja, that's the fighting. Not arts of the body, and if you call it arts of the body and he's still fighting, it's a bloody fighting, isn't it? So he's still fighting, proof. Right, oh, I think I know this book, yep. Everybody's seen that one. I think we've all got a copy of that, but that will go in my collection. I'll try and keep them. Ooh, Ninja Volume 3, old school one. Path of, uh, Warrior Path of Togakure. So uh, I must admit I had Oh, this is nice. So, something else in here. Oh. Uh, postage. So, he so sent me something. He got something for a pound or something. Cold steel knives. So, cold steel, an old cold steel knives thing. I'll keep that. Then. Oh, my God. I, I In fact, you've really helped me out there. Chris, you've helped me out a lot because I wanted that and that's in near perfect condition. So I really, really did want that in good condition. That is superb. Uh, Hatsumi stick fighting. So, um, oh, it's even got his name in, Colin Hughes. That's excellent. So Hatsumi stick fighting. Now we have uh, done some of these books for review. So I'll put some for you. Oh, volume two, Stephen Hayes. Hold on. I think it's even signed, I think you remember, by Stephen Hayes. So I've got a signed Stephen Hayes, with Colin Hughes, 1983. Brilliant. That is brilliant. That is really, really good. Really, really good. That's impressive, that, Colin. Thank you so much. Uh, I will do individual reviews of the books if need be. Tell me which ones, guys, you want reviewing, because we have done some of these before in the past. But let me open Colin's other books. So... Um, so, for example, the postage there was seven pounds, about ten dollars for one book, for one box. This is ridiculous. And then um, the other box as well. He spent a lot of money just sending them to me for free of his own signed books for no reason other than he's supporting this channel. So you can support this channel by getting copies of my books or sending me your old ninja books, so they can go in the storage. Nice. So let's have a look at this. So, oh, in hardback, Ninja and their Secret Fighting Arts, in hardback. That is superb. That's gorgeous. I don't know if that's, I don't, I'll check if I don't, uh, if any of these are signed. God, superb. And they're in really, really good condition. Ninja and the Invisible Art of the Warrior by Stephen Hayes. That is superb. Right, again in mint condition or near mint condition. Oh, now we're getting the good stuff. Traditional ninjutsu, techniques and philosophy of Nimpo. Uh, Bo Munthe, I can never do his uh, personal student of Dr. Hak 
um, Hatsumi. So, I think I might have seen this book. I've seen this book in smaller version, I think. In a smaller version. God, it brings back the memories of all the old ninja thingy. Oh, and here we go. Oh, my God. Old school. So, that was probably, does anybody know, predates that. So, um, that probably predates that. <sighs> Look at that. Old, old school with ninja ad, the ninja in it, the camouflage. It's got the ninja. It's got everything. Collapsible shuriken. God. I wish I'd have been alive. Uh, no, I was alive. I wish I'd have been publishing age in the 80s. I was like 15, 16 when all this was coming out. Uh, 1984. 19, so 1988, I was 20. Oh, uh, 10. So, actually, when this started coming out, I was in my, you know, I was going up to five, six. But then I started getting all these in the bookshops in the 90s. So, I was just too young to be publishing. But I've been publishing, I publish some crap, don't I? If I was publishing, I'd have been a very, very rich man now in the 1990s. People have always said that I would be extremely rich. Just happens to not be the 1990s anymore. Nobody cares about Japan or ninjas. There we go. Ninja no Shiori. Does anybody know anything about this Ninja no Shiori? So, um, there are times when you're yielding his power. Issue number two. It hasn't got an issue number on that one. Uh, oh, my God. These are amazing, Colin. Ninja no Shiori. Shiori. Um, wow. They are amazing. Oh. Oh, and it's been printed upside down. So, Ninja no Kokoro. The heart of the ninja, I think that would be. But then it gets to... It's printed upside down. I don't know. I'll have to check if they're all like that. They might be back to back reading, maybe. Um, oh my god, Ninja Realm! Look at this for old school Colin. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I will do. I will review. So we've got Ninja Realm that one. Ninja Realm that one. Ninja Realm, that one. Bloody hell. That's Eek Castle, that, if it's ever been. I've been there many times. It's actually a fake castle. And um, it's actually done wrong, apparently. So, Ninja Realm, I don't know what that is. The inside from one of them, I think. Maybe one of the things have gone. So, that's gone. Ninja no Shiori, Ninja no Shiori. So, let's just... Wow. Mint, mint, one can say. And finally, this Ninja World number one. Colin, you have boosted my, um, you have boosted my, um, what's the word? Uh, collection by a long shot. This is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to put all this collection together. And the aim is, as always, oh my God, look at that. I know them too. I never got, I never got to meet any of them. McCarthy I'd like to meet. I'm not sure if the other guy, I think the other guy's passed away now. Bo, hasn't he? I think he's, has he passed away? But I would love to meet McCarthy. Um, so basically, oh my God, when they thought Hatsumi was like a god, the man. I just remember being the Fuji can. Don't get me wrong, there was some hard nuts in the Fuji can and the fighting was quite good at times. Oh my God. You all know, you follow this channel, I watch, I love Sakura Killers. Right. Okay, that, so, wow. Wow, that is amazing. So the aim is, guys, to build this up to a high level and then give it to um, a museum, either the British Library and just say, you know, try and make a bit when i'm about 70 75 80 or something like that or i will speak go and maybe when i'm about 60 and i'm sort of thinking oh i better speak to the british library i'm going to get have an appointment with the british library and say listen i've got the biggest world's biggest ninja collection of stuff will you take it on as long as you're not going to bin it or throw you know put it so are you, are you actually going to use it and if they won't i'll go to somewhere else or i might speak to the japanese um national museum and say listen you're all none of you do ninjas here's the biggest ninja collection from the western world there is do you want it? And then hopefully it'll be like, I'll be long dead and it'll be like donated by Anthony Cummins, a little picture of me and what I published and what I did. And it'll be um, 
all these books and pictures and everything all over the place and we'll just have a little mini oh really my intention is to build a ninja museum we need a ninja museum um but that we need a lot of stuff for that but put a ninja kawasaki in it um uh, ninja blender ninja toys ninja turtles statue all of that sort of stuff we need a ninja museum in japan which um you just have to have a big enough voice to try and speak to it so uh, we'll see we'll see all right guys see you later um don't forget get yourself a copy of the tolkien's world or the art of war um or of course if you're really into ninja you must have had this by now the book of ninja the band sent you kai um, I think everybody in the ninja world has got that, definitely. All right, guys, see you later.